I'm Lydia Smith, here at the historic Butterworth House in Middletown, Ohio, on reports of a suspected haunting. In 1943, Maxwell Patton went on a robbing and murdering rampage until he was caught by the police in 1945. He was, of course, sentenced to death by vaporization. And now his ghost is supposed to haunt this house, protecting the treasure he supposedly buried. Now we have Amelia Pines, the housekeeper for the historic home, to tell us a little bit more about the ghost. So, Miss Pines, thank you so much for speaking with us this afternoon. We are wondering what the most frightening experience with this ghost you might have had. Well, last Wednesday I was dusting the main foyer, and I heard this peculiar noise coming from the hall closet. And so I decided I might as well go take a look. The thought did cross my mind that it might just be that ghost, but I really did believe. And I went in there and I looked at all over the closet and I couldn't see a thing, but I still heard this peculiar noise coming from the wall. So I thought, hmm, I might as well just sit here and look at that wall. So I did, and before you knew it, I saw the ghost, the ghost himself, starting to materialize. And I screamed, and I run, and I run, and I screamed, and I run, and I screamed, all the way to the telephone to call the police. And I called them, and they said, man, you just calm right down. It ain't gonna hurt you. Ghosts don't exist. Well, I don't think that anymore. So, Miss Pine. Do you think Maxwell Patton actually buried his treasure here? Well, I personally don't believe Maxwell ever existed. But it could have been the Rooker's son. You know, the one who seemed pretty weird from the pictures. No, I guess he was in charge of building this whole place. And his son was murdered. And that kid didn't look very, very friendly from the photographs you see up there hanging around here. But then again, I'm sure it was architect. He was, I don't know how to describe him, but he really, um, he seemed so, I don't know, but well, it also well, would have been the hundred Pine, Pine, thank you so much for this interview, and we'll really have to investigate this ghost story some more. Thank you so much. I'm standing here in Connie Butterworth's bedroom where the first sighting of the ghost actually occurred. Now we're going to show you a short clip of the original film. one of the more unusual sightings of this ghost. It actually occurred in a hallway in the servants' quarter, which is no longer accessible. Here it is. Since the last time we've talked to Miss Pine, she claims that the ghost has taken up residence in the breakfast nook. She'd like to take us to this room now and see if the ghost makes an appearance. Let's go. So we've arrived here at the informal breakfast nook. The ghost thinks that this is his bedroom. He arranges, rearranges everything. I have to put back in place. It's a real pain. So how long do you think we'll have to wait for the ghost? So we've been here in the breakfast nook for 30 minutes and have yet to see any signs of the ghost. Whoa! Do you see that? Oh, whoa. Uh, uh. Ah! 
We're here with world famous necrology expert Nathaniel Hill. You've seen these films as well as our audience, sir. Do you think it's a real ghost or is this just a hoax? Uh, well, based upon 30 years of detailed research into ghost sightings, I have learned that ghost sightings have been reported beginning in the late 1700s. Mm -hmm. It is my professional opinion that the ghost is very real and poses a threat to our personal safety at this very moment. Frightening, sir. How so? It's a ghost. They're threatening. Well, thank you, Mr. Hill. I'm sure we'll get back to you later. About your documentary. We're gonna have a retake. <laughs> Nathaniel Hill. So, sir, you've seen these clips as well as our audience. Do you think the ghost is real, or <laughs> are you going to laugh at the ghost? <laughs> so, sir, you've seen these clips as well as the audience. <laughs> See, you turn into like a kissing scene. So, sir, you've seen these clips as well as our audience. Do you think the ghost is? My <laughs> stomach is already all shut up. So, sir, you've seen these clips. <laughs> Nathaniel Hill. <laughs> So, sir, you see these clips as well. Skip saying this, sir. That, maybe that's what's weird to me. I'm not sure. Okay, right. maybe so. Let's try this. So, you see these clips as well as our audience. Do you think they <laughs> Let's just show it up and do this. Okay, we've been here in the breakfast nook. Oh, I'm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lydia Smith. Here at the historic Butterworth House in Middletown, Ohio, on re stupid car. <laughs> I'm Lydia Smith. Here at the historic Butterworth House in Middletown, Ohio, on reports of another stupid car. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>